Direct versus indirect costs in research grants. What do these terms mean and how do they apply to you? You're going to find out right now. Hey everybody, I'm Lee Hall from teachingacademia.com and I'm all about giving you the tools you need to navigate academia and make your best impact. So today we're talking about direct versus indirect costs in research grants. Now, before we get into the specifics of what each one means, just know that this is something that you're gonna run into with predominantly government grants. So like an internal grant, that's this is not gonna be a thing for that. You get a foundation grant or a grant from a private donor. None of that, none of this is gonna to apply to that. But if you are going to apply and if you receive funding from a government grant like NIH, for example, or NSF, then direct versus indirect costs is something that you need to be aware of. So what do these terms mean? So let's start with the direct costs. Direct costs, these are easy to identify. This is how much it's gonna to cost to run your study. So when you're thinking, when, you're, when you've got your research question, you've got your study design, and then you're doing your budget, you're thinking about how much money do I need? What are things that this grant will fund that I can legitimately request to support my research? So you might have things like funding grad students, right, for assistantships, that's a direct cost. Travel, and that could be traveling to a research site. It could be, you know, multiple people having to, right, travel to a site to collect data. It could be conference funding, um, you know, traveling to conferences. It can be just you. It can be a team, right? It can be a number of variations in there. Equipment that you or anybody on your research team needs to get the get this stuff done, um, which can also include, by the way, software. If you need a particular kind of software to run analysis, Put that in your direct costs, okay? Um, paying participants. If you are going to be giving participants stipends, let's say, you know, um, I, well, I was in a study. I wasn't in a study. I was a research assistant for a study for um, a, that had a large multi-million government grant. And we paid participants. We paid them, I don't remember how much money, but let's just say it was $1,000 and they were classroom teachers and they got maybe like 500 halfway through the first you know, through that first year that they could use to spend on books for their classroom. And then they got like the other 500 at the end of the year and they had to use it for particular things. So sometimes you can give participants just a straight up stipend, like thank you for participating in this interview. Here's 20 bucks or whatever. And other times you might say, hey, I've got a thousand dollars and you can use it to buy materials that support the work that you do in some way, right? So you can use direct costs that way. So that's that's what direct cost is. It's exactly like it sounds. What are indirect costs then? So indirect costs are not easy to identify, but what it is is your university is going to come and take a chunk of money from your grant, okay? And this is money that they take to support the facilities, administrative duties associated with getting and maintaining grants, okay, things like that. Now, they're not easily identified because who can say, right, what percentage of time or how much, you know, somebody helped you with something or, um, you know, how frequently you used, had access to certain facilities. You can't, right? So that's what an indirect cost is. So if you have a multi-million dollar grant and your university will they'll be able to tell you this is how much money we're going to take in indirect costs. So let's just make this easy. If you're, if you're applying for a grant and the maximum that you can be awarded is $1 million and your university takes 50% of that, which is not unheard of, um, then now you've got half a million. So you might see a call for a large grant, for a government grant and go, oh, a million dollars. I could do so many cool things with a million dollars you're not really gonna get a million dollars, okay? Even if um, they awarded you your grant and said, yeah, sure, your budget looks good, you can have what you want here. Your university is gonna take a chunk of that, right? So you need to find out up front what are the indirect costs at your university, what percentage do they want? So in this example, if they want 50% and the maximum that you can get is a million, now you're at 500,000. So now you need to design your study and your budget with a half a million dollar grant, not a one million dollar grant, right? So before you get started applying for government grants where they're going to be taking and where your university is going to be taking indirect costs, 
make sure you're clear on the percentage that your university is going to take so that you know how to design and budget for the remainder of your study.